Okay, so we've got Cloud9 uh, finally working. I'm just going to close this demo file. Um, and these, that, that file down as well. I'm going to make a new folder here. Now, it's important you take your time when you're working with these projects, right? Um, just so you get used to it. So I'm just going to right click, see my October the 6th. I'm just going to click a new folder. And in there, I'm just going to call this one. I'll call it. Um, what am I doing? I'll call it JavaScript uh, underscore P, right? So I've made a folder called JavaScript underscore P. And while I'm on there, I'm just going to right click and go to New File. And then this one, I'm going to call this one. Um, I'll just call it demo dot HTML. Okay, so I am only making this folder just to keep things organised because in this we project example, we're going to have multiple files. So I've made my JavaScript key folder and I made a file called demo dot HTML. Open up demo dot HTML. All right, and there's nothing in it. And what I'll do in here then, I'm just going to set up the document again. Doc type HTML. And I know I'm being a bit uh, untidy with my HTML, but um, so you don't all fall asleep when I'm making these documents. Uh, right. Head. Okay, so. Okay, and that's your bog standard set up there. Um, right, okay. So, in this example, I'm going to give it a title and I'll just call it Key Press Demo. Now, I talked to you about Key Presses last week. To be honest with you, it's not something I would use very much. It, what it does do, to be fair, is give the site a wee bit more. Um, it adds a wee bit to use an interface. Say you've got somebody with maybe motor skills using the website. It's always good to give them shortcuts. Um, so that rather it eliminates the mouse element of things. Or, but to be honest with you, this would always be a secondary way of moving about the site. But the long story short, we're trying to make a, a wee program that changes the pages um, you're on depending on what key is pressed. All right. So um, in here. We have to do a couple of wee links, right, in the head of the document. Now, you have to link into the jQuery library for this to work. And I'll guarantee, because I still do it, that somebody will either set up the jQuery library link wrong, and immediately, see, as soon as you do that, the whole program won't work. It just won't fire properly. Now, you've got two options. You can host the jQuery library on your site, which is perfectly fine. Or you can be lazy and get Google to do it for you, right? Because Google has got an API library. So I'll show you how you do this, right? So I'm going to go into, um, I'm just going to type in Google API library. And then you get hosted libraries coming up. And you'll see there, you've got Angle, JS, blah, blah, Dojo, Hamster, jQuery. There we go. So, jQuery snippet. See that bit, line of code there? That top line? Just copy it. And that is a link to the Google jQuery library. Go back into your code and paste that in. All right. Yeah, 3.1.1. That's the latest one. Okay, now it's important that you put that in at the top of your script because if you use jQuery and it can't see that, it will give you an error saying it doesn't understand. All right, so stick that in as the first script you're bringing in. The second script you're bringing in is going to be one that we're going to write. All right, and uh, I'm just going to say script type equals oops, text slash JavaScript. And then I will say source equals. Now we've just—it's our choice what we call this here, right? I'm going to call it key press 
.js. Okay. So that is us. We have made a link to two um, J JavaScript files, right? One of them hosted on Google, um, and one of them be that one is one of the most widely used JavaScript files in the world, and the other one's just a wee function we're going to write ourselves. Okay. So um, the only thing I'm going to put in the body of this page is a wee paragraph just saying press S to go to the SQA site. All right. A wee instruction for the user. And that's us finished with the HTML in this particular example, right? What I then going to do is go back to my JavaScript key folder, right click and go to new file. Now, this file is going to be called keypress.js. Okay. Now, the notation of jQuery is about to drive you absolutely potty, right? As I say, I don't write a lot of stuff in jQuery. I tend to uh, beg, borrow, and steal and dodge it all together, right? It's, I find it the easiest way to do it. So, I'm opening up this key press file, which is ours, and this is where I could have probably started off a couple of easier things with jQuery, but it wouldn't have helped you learn the syntax any easier. So the first thing is to tell the, the machine that you are accessing the jQuery uh, library. And after, confusingly enough, because it's, it's a dollar sign. And we've seen the dollar sign before in the last couple of weeks, haven't we? And that's been able to PHP. So different language, different meaning. All right. And then we're just saying document in brackets. And in this particular one, it's document.keypress. Okay. Okay. Now, in here, we, this is where we put the function that gets called. So the function. What one? Oh, it's the, the closing one. That's right. That's us. Now, as you can see, we've got um, one, two. So we've left one bracket open, right? Which we'll, we'll close that at the end. So, what has happened here is that um, the E is just um, taking in a, a variable, right? It doesn't mean the letter E. Okay? Um, and then we do a switch. Now you've all seen switch statements before, yes? So in this case, I'm just going to say switch e dot which. Okay. And so it's depending on what letter's been pressed. And then we say case. Now, the only reason I remember this because I was looking at it earlier. I'm just going to put a wee comment in. User presses A. And A in terms of the code is, is case 97. Alright. Um, and if they press 97, we say go to address. And. I'll just choose a, a site beginning with A. I'll go for Adobe, right? HTTP Adobe dot com. Click. Okay. But the thing we'd set up was that if they press S, it takes them to the SQA site. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And just say user presses S. SQA.org. 
not UK. Except for A is 115. Sorry, S is 115. the computer code for the letter S. S I S the ASCII codes. Now this is the bit that will send you up the wall and still does to me. We have to close this particular uh, key press call. So we have to close it because we've still got an, a bracket open from up here. So it's a bracket and a semicolon. Okay. Now, it does, see if, you, see if you were to put it into a line, you'd see that they all match up. Okay. Not saying that it won't drive you up the wall, but it does make sense. Right. Now, the next thing we've done is, I have, call, I have referenced something called go to address. That's our function that we've not written yet. So, I have to say function go to address and we're passing in my URL. And then that the code for changing the location window dot location dot replace. I URL. So the logic of this program is that this jQuery is filed up when the when the document is ready or when the key is pressed. And if they press A, the function go to address is called and the, the parameter is the Adobe website. And if you look there, go to address, adobe, window.location.replace, www.adobe.com. If they press S, HTTP, SQA, and it's the same idea. Does that make sense? Um, it's it's not seeing what the, the dollar is because it's not linked up within the jQuery library yet. So when we run it, it should all just click. All right. Um, so I'll go to file. Right, two seconds, I'll see you every second. Uh, save all. And let's preview it. See if it works. Now, I have made my JavaScript key folder. Click in there. Click in demo. Yeah. I'll try and pop it out and see. There you go. S takes you to the SQA site and A should take you to the Adobe site. There you go. You'll need to pop it out of the browser window. All right. I don't know why it's doing that, but see there? That wee bit there is the pop out. So click on there to pop it out. JavaScript key, click on demo. There you go. That's, that's key press navigation. All right. 